Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. There was a 29% decline in net profit at Access Financial for the April to September period. Net profit for the six months was $280 million, down from $395 million last year. Net operating income for the six months amounted to $1.1 billion, an increase of $260 million. Access Financial says in order to achieve significant growth in the loan portfolio, margins have declined due to the competitive nature of the market. The government says all micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, regardless of the industry, will be able to benefit from the new public procurement regime which came into force on April 1. This assurance comes from Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Senator Pernell Charles Jr. He says entities which have an annual turnover of less than $425 million can benefit from the regime. Senator Charles was responding to questions raised at Friday's sitting of the Senate during the debate on two resolutions which operationalize certain provisions of the Public Procurement Act. And in the wake of the recent slide in the value of the Jamaican dollar to the U.S. currency, President of the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, Helene Davis-White, has given an update on its plan to conduct an independent survey on the impact of currency movement on the cost of living. We were not very successful in completing that survey, uh, and so um, what we still continue to um, depend on are the official statistics, but as I point out to members, we accept the official statistics when they are bad, and so I suppose we shall have to accept them when they are good unless we can actually counter them. Um, and so we continue to do the monitoring to ensure that um, you know our members are not um, disadvantaged as a result of us. Um, accepting a four-year agreement um, as it stands now. In Monday's trading session, the JSC combined index declined by 2,184 points to close at almost 500,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 65 stocks, of which 29 advanced, 24 declined, and 12 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by one point to close at over 3,000. Stocks advanced for 1834 investments, Barita Investments, Blue Power Group, Caribbean Cement, and Caribbean Cream Limited. Stocks declined for Berger Paints Jamaica, Carreras Limited, Derriman Trading Company, Dolphin Cove Limited, and Express Catering Limited. Trading firm were AMG Packaging and Paper, Sibony Group, Elite Diagnostic Limited, Fossridge Company, and Jamaican Teas Limited. Sajakor Select Funds was the volume leader with 12.6 million units, followed by Wisinko Group Limited with 2.5 million units and Wigton Wind Farm with over 2 million units. And news in oil, oil prices rose more than 1% on Monday, buoyed by an improved outlook for crude demand as better-than-expected U.S. jobs growth added to market hopes a preliminary U.S.-China trade deal would be reached this month. Brent crude was up 76 cents at $62.45 a barrel. Meanwhile, U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude rose 83 cents, selling at $57.03 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.